Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I will be previewing or giving my opinion on five St Kilda players that will have breakout years this year. Now, obviously, with all the stuff going on with the AFL at the moment, uh, who knows if the season's even going to go ahead as scheduled. Obviously, I'm recording this video in hope that it will. Um, but at this stage, Gillan McLaughlin will make an announcement on it this afternoon and this video could be null and void in 12 hours or it could be very meaningful. But anyway, um, I'd already planned to make it. So here are my five St Kilda players that will make a breakout season this year. Number one is Rowan Marshall. Debuting in 2018, Rowan has played 33 games for St Kilda. Last year, he played 20 games, averaged 17.8 disposals at 71% efficiency. He averaged 28.5 hitouts and is touted as the third best ruckman in the comp. Post the bye rounds, he scored the most super coach points in the competition. Now, given the fact that Paddy Ryder has been added to the squad, this gives Rowan a chance to move down forward and make an impact, as well as improving his generalship around the ground. Number two, Luke Dunstan. Entering his sixth season, I think this is the year that Luke Dunstan takes his game to the next level. In his previous three seasons, he has averaged 21.6, 21.7 and 22 disposals a game. But in this season's Marsh series, he's put out 24 and 29 disposals. Obviously this season, we have the strongest midfield that we've had in a little while. So I think that good performances are the only way to keep your spot. And I think that Luke Dunstan may go to that level and move into a general in our midfield. Number three, Callum Wilkie. The shining light of our back line last year, Callum Wilkie made himself a non-negotiable starter in our back six after being picked up at number three in the rookie elevation draft last year. Averaging the better part of 15 disposals out of his 22 games last year, Wilkie made himself both an aerial and ground threat with five marks a game and 3.4 rebound 50s per game. Obviously, we welcome back the mainstays in our back line this year, Jaron Geary, Dylan Roberton and Jay Carlisle. But I think that Wilkie keeps his spot still. I think he's in for a high half-back role and this can only elevate his game. Number four, Hunter Clark. One of our best young players, Hunter Clark is set for a breakout year in my opinion. After only playing 14 games in the 2019 season, Hunter averaged 21 disposals. Towards the latter stages of last year, he began to ooze class and composure, and that's something that a lot of young players lack with his type of experience. I'm hoping he gets a true utility role this year, playing all over the ground. He's very handy off the half-back flank, and he's able to burst through the middle of the ground if need be. He obviously can kick in front of goal. He's got a very good right boot. I think this is the year that Hunter Clark makes a name for himself as a starting 22 player for St Kilda. This is Hunter Clark's time as he is the future of our club. Number five, Jade Gresham. Providing we make finals this year, Jade will surpass the 100 game milestone and this is the year he steps into the elite conversation. A 19 game, 15 goal season last year saw the Gresh make a real midfielder out of himself. He's great all around the ground in packs and stoppages and deadly in front of goal. I think he will share a rotation with Zach Jones this year and move in and out of the midfield. His goal sense is very good, but he has a burst of speed that can deliver 450 entries and potential shots at goal. They are my five breakout stars for this year. Obviously, I could have chosen out of 40. I think that this is the year the whole club starts to rise. I think we will experience a surge up the ladder. Um, not to the top four or anything, but I'd be happy with, with finals. I'd be really happy with finals. That's sort of my expectation going into the year. Uh, I think that we're set for a really good year all, all round. I think if Dylan Roberton and Cal Wilkie can link up really well, um, Dougal Howard will obviously be amazing in, in our back line as well. Jaron Geary, hopefully we can get a full year out of him. Into the midfield, Brad Hill, Zach Jones, the list goes on. Seb Ross and Jack Steele will obviously elevate their games as well. And I think that with elite players such as Brad Hill in your squad, everybody rises to that level because they, they're inspired by him. They want to be at that level. So he can only be good things for us going forward. In the forward line, Max King, of course, is someone to look out for. And hopefully we can get 
a full 22 games out of him, coronavirus permitting. I think that, yeah, obviously it's at 17 games at the moment, but the players want it to be 22. There are talks that... Um, there are talks that... 12% of the competition don't want to play, and that's 100, 100 players. Uh, so I, I saw on Twitter before a friend of mine tweeted, it'll be round, it'll be game three of the round before you see players that really want to be there uh, as a as a generalisation, not saying that Carlton, Richmond and the first three games teams won't be into it. Of course they will, but, you know, that's just the sort of um, numbers that we're looking at. But look, that's my video it's for today. Thank you for watching. If you're new, please like and subscribe. Hope you enjoyed, and I will see you on Friday for another AFL video. So thanks for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.